that series we've been moving towards more and more of a low till method to care for our soil. We do a lot of our beds in the winter months in cover crop. Cover crop is the idea that you're growing things just to feed the soil, not for your own human use. Um, this is a mixture of vetch, peas, and bell beans. And all of them are in the pea and bean family and they are, have the ability to fix nitrogen. So they are able to take nitrogen out of the air and they put it into their root system with the help of a microorganism. And then when the plants die, that nitrogen is released into the soil and other, um, other plants can take it up. So this is the bell bean and you can see all along the root system, there's these little, they almost look like styrofoam, but those are nitrogen nodules. And so that's what's gonna break down and release nitrogen into the soil, along with all the plant matter, which is just feeds the soil because it adds more organic matter. So we chop it all down. And in the past we would have turned it under using you know, forks and actually turning it under the soil. But now we're doing more of a, a low tillage method, which once we've chopped it down, we cover it with black plastic, which is why there's a lot of black plastic in the garden right now. And the heat, the summer heat, um, helps break it down pretty quickly. And so this has been about a week under black plastic. This looked like that last week, so it's just the broken down plant matter. Um, what we do is we'll add a little bit of compost onto this bed, and sometimes we add a little bit of fertilizer also. So we'll take compost and we'll sprinkle it over the bed like this and just do a, you know, a small layer, no more than an inch across the whole bed. And instead of actually mixing it in in a way that turns the soil and disrupts all the natural processes that help soil be healthy and whole, we, um, we use what we call a broad fork, which only breaks up the soil um, and opens it up without actually inverting soil layers and, not, and really not doing much damage to the process. So you, the broad fork helps break it up and you just kind of cracks it open. So it opens it up some and then it lets some of the compost drop in, but you aren't actually turning the soil. This section was under black plastic for a few weeks. We took the black plastic off, we put compost on, and then lightly used the broad forks. And you can see that there's still some of the plant matter, but that just is gonna break down and be organic matter that feeds the soil. And that's how we do a low-till approach to prepping our beds.